So we have currently pulled up on the side of the road, literally. Right here. Ocean's here though, decent little view. Arthur's just gone into um, a mechanic in this town, Port Lincoln. We'll shout them out when I figure out the name of them. Um, we've just asked for a little tub to put our oil in because we're going to do a little oil change here. So we'll decant the old oil into here and then pour it into the new oil's empty tub so we put the new oil back in. So we'll change the filter, change the oil, keep us up and running for another few kilometres because you've got to service your cars but we're just using the cheaper option of trying to do it ourselves. So wish us luck and we'll keep you updated. So it's not a hard job, pretty easy. All we got to do is take off the oil cap here. In then... saying that your car's going to be completely different so make sure you do your own research and don't just go full steam in. Yeah. And then under the car, under the sump, plug, drain her out into the tank. Then we take out the old oil filter there, put a new one in, and then we just top it back up, fill it back up with those two. Obviously you check your own vehicles for whatever oil you need and fuel filters and what oil filters, you name it. And then we'll do that. Alrighty, we're under the car now. Oil has been drained and the tank that the boys gave me is a perfect size. Let that drizzle out and then we'll get on to changing the oil filter. Got to use what you can. We don't have anything to get the filter out, but Good old trusty belt does the job. That's that. Dab a bit of oil on the seal from that little capture point. Twist her back in. Tighten her back up. There we go. Filter change. Filter's done. Check. Now we gotta put our oil back in. Put the plug back in the bottom. That would help. We're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> it is lovely having friendly locals here in Australia. Everyone wants to help you all the time. The man just pulled over and made sure we're okay, so how lovely. Yeah, we're all good. Just doing an oil change, so nothing's wrong. <laughs> Another friendly local, gotta love it. So it's taken a while for the oil to all fully drain. Got a few mil to spare in this bucket. We'll put the plug back in and then we'll fill her up from the top. And then that's a done deal. We'll be off to Coffin Bay, continue on through the Air Peninsula and then we're gonna go to Cactus for a week and get some sick waves. Makeshift funnel. Oil change complete. The car is running, so something right. We're just coming up to the place that lent us. 
shout out to Billy from Rocket Repairs, absolute legend, hooking us up with the tank so we could drain it and fill her up. And then we brought back the old oil and he's disposing of that for us. So didn't need to dig a hole in the ground and do that old job. But if anyone needs any four drive repairs, any car repairs here in Port Lincoln, hit them up. Yep. We have made it to Coppin Bay and they're just driving through. To drive into the national park, find ourselves somewhere to camp up as per usual. And apparently, you can get oysters here, but you can sit in the water and eat fresh oysters and drink wine. Dean has also never had oysters. Yeah, I have never had oysters. It would be the maiden voyage, and I reckon it's a pretty good place to start. Hopefully, they don't taste like snot. He's in for a treat. 